Guys, you have no idea, this is so dangerous. Just madness. Well, to be honest, uh, it really has been a while since I was able to clean her. But uh, I hope maybe in Islamabad I'll have some space and the time to give her a proper wash. I think she deserves this. Yeah man, it's, it's been a pleasure really. Okay, yeah. Pleasure to meet you and we stay in touch. Yeah, say goodbye to your kids and to your wife. Okie dokie. Bye bye. And the road here is a little bit iffy. But here in Pakistan, I learned that the people, they're just allowed to, when they have like a, a property, they are just allowed to buy, build houses and they can build the road just by themselves. It's not like in Europe or in Germany where you need a permission for everything. You cannot even build a house without permission on your own property. And here you can just build whatever, wherever you want kind of cool. I guess that's why all the houses are up in the mountains. Uh, that's a very muddy bit there. Ah oh, shit. No, 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 no. I have a... I have a different idea. Where's my reverse? I mean, Zero could have just given me the reverse for free, right? Don't you think? That would have been... Something. Also, apparently, you can charge the bike up to 110%, what I saw on the internet. That would have also been very helpful, but they chose not to. So also my lovely host there, he, wrote, he recommended me to go to an old Buddhist temple on my way to Islamabad now. Just uh, 20 kilometers from here. I'll check it out. Haven't seen old ruins in a while, so that would be cool. Look at that. Mountains here in the background. Love it. Check this out. <laughs> How to cross the river. That's cool, eh? Oh. oh, look at that. It's called uh, Shingarda Stupa, I think. All right. <laughs> it's, it's Sunday today, so kids are playing. Playing cricket here everywhere. All right. Camera. Yeah, <laughs> camera. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, it has been lovely to meet all you, <laughs> but I guess I gotta go now. <laughs> oh.
All right, goodbye. No engine. No sound. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. Yeah, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe, maybe next time. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Okay, couldn't really stay super long here. <laughs> I was a little bit crowded. <laughs> Lovely. Nice temple. I, I'm not sure if I can even go inside. Haven't found the the entrance. But I also was a little bit overwhelmed. I have to get out somehow. Oh, 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 oh. Mm. Uh. Uh. Cow poo. Okay, so I want to try to go on the motorway again. I hope they let me. <laughs> it wasn't a problem last time, but if you remember when we got out of Quetta, we tried and there was this officer that didn't let me on the motorway, so I'll just try here, but it looks good, eh? No police check? Oh yeah, that looks good. Nice, and that saves me like three hours extra. Because otherwise I would be driving through the small little villages and... Whew, but not out of the woods yet. Hopefully let me just go. Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, I'm sorry, in English? Uh, I'm, I'm a tourist. Uh, Eng English? Yeah. H how much? How much is it? Go? No, 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 no. There? Okay. Okay. Hello. Hi. Good, thank you. Hi. I just... These heavy bikes are not allowed on motorway. Not allowed? Ah, oh, okay. You will be traveling on GT road. Ah, okay. Because I want to go to Islamabad yeah. and, and this is the... This is the best route. This is the best route but uh, motorway doesn't allow, doesn't allow motorcycle, uh, the heavy bikes entry on uh, to travel. Uh, okay. So what do I do now? Uh, please come this way. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you will go this, that way, yeah. the car is moving that way. And then go back. Uh, um, after uh, seeing that green board, yeah. uh, turn this way. Okay. That is GT road uh, toward Islamabad. To Islamabad, yeah. Okay. You will be passing by Bathela. Yeah. Malakan Pass. Okay. And uh, other uh, small cities. And okay. okay. And then you will be joining me. Okay. Ah, oh, shit. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, that sucks now. That sucks big time. What a stupid, stupid rule. So what now? Uh. My route changed now from two hours to six hours. Mm. That's ridiculous, eh? so ridiculous honestly it's just the dumbest rule really on the one hand they're all about my security and want to give me escorts all the time and and then you know they don't want to let me on the secure motorway where I could just go towards my goal no now this is my next five hours <laughs> I mean I'm all for rules and stuff but I mean, it's got to make sense, eh? 
there, there's no reason why this motorcycle wouldn't be allowed on the motorway. There, there's no possible explanation. No reasonable explanation. But yeah, what are you gonna do? I guess on a positive note, I get to go over the mountains now, so I guess this is the positive side, but I can tell you Pakistan is definitely putting me to the test. Well, this view here is really cool though. <laughs> It is a cool road. It is a cool road after all. That makes me happy. That <laughs> makes me happy. Let's hope it stays that way. That would be lovely. <laughs> Check this out, eh? Yeah, that is awesome. Nice! That was us first eight or nine days here in Pakistan. I'm glad that's over. It's not the nice mountain roads that annoy me, it's just being always in the cities. Like you go through these towns all the time. It just takes ages to get through them. Without, without police escort, obviously. Because there really is here in Pakistan, it's really town after town after town after, town after city after town after city. It's just everywhere. There's there's people living everywhere because there's so many people here. I think it was what 240 million or 250 million people in, in Pakistan. And Pakistan is not a big country and also has a lot of mountains. So they have to live somewhere, that's for sure. But I already did three hours now, so halfway there. Three hours more to go. Nice little spot without so many people. Little break from the crazy. But it's been smooth sailing so far, that is good. And luckily I don't need to worry about uh, charging. That's good, even though I put on like 50 kilometers more without the highway. But uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be fine. And also, I contacted the Airbnb host uh, already and told him about Eve and about the charging and asked, you know, if I can put her somewhere safe. And yeah, this is cool. Usually, I just rock up and see what happens. But in this case, he was already asking weird questions. Like, if I come alone and uh, 
This is a quiet area. I'm not allowed to bring over girls at night. And I'm like, where do you even find girls? Like, I only see men everywhere. There's just every cafe, every bar, there's just men. Definitely not bringing women tonight, except for this one, of course. I just remember the interesting story I had in Quetta with the guy that worked at the police station and we were talking about different cultures and the differences and especially you know getting married and all this stuff and he explained to me that uh, he married out of love which I found uh, I found it was awesome brilliant and then he told me how it you know came about <laughs> And he said, yeah, he found a girl that he fancied. H hadn't, hadn't talked to her or anything. Just a girl that he fancied. And uh, yeah, he told his parents, that's the girl I fancy. And then his parents talked to the parents of the woman. And then they negotiated a deal. And uh, after that, it was decided those two get married and that was his understanding of marrying out of love i found that uh, <laughs> yeah i mean it's it's just different it's just so different here women here have a whole different standing than uh, than in europe and you really don't see women out and about and if then only you know a lot of women are in the full burkas and yeah i i kind of i kind of I kind of miss seeing women uh, without, you know, wanting to sound like the biggest creep in the world. But it's just, you know, nice being around women too. Because let's just face it, uh, women are the better humans, right? They're, they're just smarter, they look better, and uh, they don't... Uh, and they don't seem to have the urge to throw bombs at each other. So yeah. Miss the women in Pakistan. That's a lot of corn. Okay, is that safe? I don't know. Whew. See that the tarmac is so slick. I should be able to go right. See when I accelerate now, <laughs> it's just running free. Uh, yeah, yeah. I thought today was going to be a very short day, but. It's almost dark again, but I only have one hour left and then, uh, yeah, I'll be at the Airbnb. And there's some cake. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Going around the world, yeah. It's an electric motorcycle. No petrol. No, no petrol, no petrol. Just electric, yeah. This is very good, huh? Yeah, yeah, I like it. How much, how much speed? 
200. 200. 200, yeah. Much power. No go to my part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Pakistan, no, fa no going fast. <laughs> no, Pakistan is too crazy. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Goodbye. <laughs> Even got off of the chair. That wouldn't happen at the Total gas station in Europe. <laughs> uh, people are just so friendly. It's outstanding everywhere. Everywhere I go, super friendly. Hey, I mean, I could have also plugged in there, but yeah, it's just no point. It's just 44 kilometers stuff. 26% I'll make it and just like the guy said can't go fast here anywhere people are crazy with the driving <laughs> Better turn my light on. Yeah, much, much, much safer, much safer. Yeah. Uh, you never know here in Pakistan. <laughs> oh man eh Almost there, but guys, you have no idea. This is so dangerous. People driving without lights, motorcycles come from the wrong direction. It's just, it's just madness. <laughs> How did that one police officer say from the escort? Normal 40% danger and definitely at night. At least 80% danger now. <laughs> oh, man. Eh? And there's also no road, no markings on the road or anything like that. It's just everybody drives how they see fit. And I have to as well. Like, I can, I have to go with the flow. <laughs> I cannot just. I'll, I'll just try and choose the best lane for the moment. Like, I think now it's clever to go here. Yeah, yeah. Ah. And then the smoke and the dust and... Ah. Gee. Insane. Islamabad, oh, yeah. Yeah, electric, yeah. Electric bike? Yeah. Huh? Company. Company Eve.
think one of the fans is broken. I think there are two or three fans and I think it just works one or two. I don't know if that is a problem or not. All right, this is my Airbnb. <laughs> I'm always a little bit embarrassed how, how big it is, but it was only 30 euro. The kitchen. And uh, two bedrooms. Bathroom. Another bedroom. I don't need that. So the reason I spent a little bit more, it was like 32 euro a night, is because A, it has hot water, which is not super normal, apparently here in Pakistan. So the last places, they all didn't have hot water. Um, and B, Wi-Fi, that's good, I have Wi-Fi. And um, there was another reason. Anyways, Wi-Fi and hot water, it's so awesome. I can upload, I can work tomorrow, and hopefully I'll get my visa tomorrow. I can pick it up and then we're on our way to India. But uh, I will keep you posted and uh, don't forget to subscribe uh, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao. This is way too big.